It was a beautiful country. It was a big democracy, especially under President uh, Masaryk. It's just a shame that it had to fall to Hitler. Bratislava was on the Danube on three borders, uh, Hungary, Austria, and Czechoslovakia. And practically everybody spoke German, Hungarian, and Slovak or Czech. On the eve of World War II, the Jewish community in Bratislava, Slovakia, was a center of religious, cultural, and Zionist activity. 15,000 Jews lived in the city, approximately 12% of the total population. Most of Bratislava's Jews were Orthodox, but the community also included Jews from many different streams of Judaism. For the most part, relations between the Jews and their neighbors were good, but occasionally they did encounter anti-Semitism. We were pretty Orthodox. My father wasn't, but my mother was pretty Orthodox. And we went to synagogues frequently, just like most of the people. In the afternoon, after the regular school, we went to Cheder, and there we learned, had rabbis who taught us Jewish education. When we finished fifth grade, then there, is a, there was a choice to go to high school, call it high school, uh, or you could go to Yesod HaTorah, but means the, the base of the yeshiva. First, the preparation for a yeshiva, and there were six grades in this one. So six years you could go there. I remember tennis courts near the university building and I remember playing with my school friends and teachers even. I remember particularly one teacher I was very keen on with. His name was Beiner, I think, and we played tennis. And then swimming, I belonged to the Bar Kochba and um, I swam in the local swimming pool an indoor pool and then I used to go to the Lido in the summer and I used to participate in races. Independent Slovakia, a state under the patronage of Nazi Germany, was established in March 1939, six months before the outbreak of World War II. And with its establishment, the situation of the country's Jews deteriorated. Bratislava became the seat of the government institutions and the Jews there were the first Slovak Jews to suffer humiliation and persecution. They were subjected to economic sanctions and were conscripted for forced labour. In January 1940, Jews and gypsies were forbidden by law to be drafted into the Slovak army. Instead, they were meant to report for physical labour in special units. Well, life started to change very drastically. First of all, uh, when the Anschluss came in Austria, okay, the border, the Bratislava, the Danube goes through uh, Bratislava and the other side of the Danube was all the way occupied by the Germans okay when the Anschluss came for Austria so uh, the first thing is you saw big signs the uh, uh, Jews go to Palestine in 39 I had to go to the army I was drafted and every Jewish boy was drafted but we didn't go anymore uh, uh, with weapons, but they gave us shovels in, instead of weapons, and we had to be as a unit, the Shesti Prapor, that means uh, sixth brigade, we had to be all together in slave work. The deportation of the Jews of Slovakia to Lublin and to the Auschwitz death camp, Poland, began in the spring of 1942. The Working Group, a group of community activists who attempted to stop the deportations by bribing Slovak and German government officials, commenced activity at the height of the deportations. After some 58,000 Jews had been deported, the deportations stopped, in some measure due to the actions of the Working Group. And then they started to, to, to send Jews with the transports. First they started with us, that we went to the army, and there we were in, in working camps. And then they started the young, even young girls, to send to Germany. Uh, and then after that, slowly they started to, to deport people. People were very scared, 
very, very scared. In 1942, then they started to take the single people, single girls, single boys. We didn't know where to. Everybody over 16. And uh, then later, the families left. And especially in Bratislava, they, either they shipped them out to a village someplace, or, or they, they, they also erected some work camps in two or three places. Some of my relatives were there before going to Auschwitz. Armed cells of the Jewish resistance existed in the three labor camps for Jews in Slovakia, Novaki, Sered and Vihine. These were set up mainly as resistance units in the eventuality of further deportations from Slovakia. In August 1944, the Slovak National Uprising broke out and these armed cells, as well as other Jews, joined the insurrection. The uprising was suppressed by the Germans and the deportations from Slovakia were renewed. Some 12,000 Jews were deported to Auschwitz, Theresienstadt and the camps in Germany. A week before that an uprising is prepared, so we started with two friends of mine to move and prepare ourselves to go there. We went by train two days earlier, no control after we came to, I don't remember what city, where we've been stopped. And the first time we contacted, the partisans stopped the train, looked through them, who happened to be maybe a fascist or whatever they talk about, and we went further to Banska Bistrica. We, together, we, how we came there, we've been immediately introduced to uh, the battalion of the, under the name Visokoskolska um, Jednota, but is uh, the, the, the battalion of the university students. I came in there too, I never had university, but I came in the, the rest at universities, whatever. So immediately, we came in and two days later, we were involved in fighting. It was exactly the night when the Slovaks were left out, but the Germans took over and that's when they came to get us. And what do you remember of that night? Oh, we, were, we were woken up around three o'clock in the morning with lots of noise and, and banging. And um, we were told to pack and come, and immediately, uh, no hiding and no nothing. There were four or five big tall guys, and one in each room, watching us. And that was the opportunity, when, the occasion when that guy told us, uh, told, told my father how happy he is that he finally could catch him. And then they took us to some kind of a building I don't remember which one, I remember the neighborhood where we got processed or something before they took us to the railroad station. The Jews of Slovakia were deported to camps in Poland and Germany in two waves, in 1942 and in the last months of the war between October 1944 and March 1945. Out of the 70,000 Jews deported, some 4,000 survived. In addition, Approximately 3,000 Jews were murdered in Slovakia in the course of the suppression of the Slovak National Uprising. Of the 90,000 Slovak Jews, only some 20,000 survived, some in hiding and in the ranks of the partisans. <laughs> 